Hi, and welcome to VetOfficeSuite.com. My name is Eddie Whalen. I'm our VP of Sales, and I'm here today to give you a quick overview on our platform and show you how easy it is to use to manage your practice. So when you log into VetOfficeSuite.com, you'll get to our dashboard. From here, you can access our clients and patients. You can access your schedule, the inventory and procedures section. You can do an invoice in our transaction section. You can pull any reports or work on your basic settings. You can create a new client or schedule an appointment, do a new transaction. You can do a search by patient name or client name, phone number, client number, microchip number. You can pull a report on any reminders due, such as surgery follow-ups or vaccines or yearly checkups. You'll be able to see a list of your low inventory. You'll be able to see any open invoices that you have. And on the right here, you'll be, you'll be able to see your calendar and a list of today's appointments. When you go to the Clients and Patients tab, you'll see a list of the most recent clients and patients, any comments that you had put in about them. Here is a section for our client portal where you can give people access to the portal. When you do, you'll see that there's a gray paw print. And when they accept access and they get inside, that gray paw print will turn green. You take a look at the client. You have some basic information here, the first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, uh, telephone number. Here you'll ask for their email address, and when you click this little box here, it'll give them access to that client portal. It'll also send them an automatic email reminder 48 hours before their appointment. You'll be able to see any outstanding balance that they have, and then here's their billing information, and here's where you'll add any additional details. Go back to the top and take a look at the patient information. Here you'll have some basic patient info. Uh, you can click here and add a photo if you have one that's been emailed to you. If you're using a tablet or a smartphone, you can click here and take a picture of the pet and add it right on the spot. Here's where you'll put the rabies tag code in. The species have all been pre-populated, as well as thousands of breeds. You can choose the gender and print a certificate. You can choose the birthday. Here's where you'll put the current weight, any microchip number, and print a certificate. Uh, you can put the color of the pet here. You can print out chart labels or x-ray labels and add any comments about this pet. Here's our documents and images section. You can drag and drop files that you might get uh, that are lab reports or x-rays, and you can put them in different folders. Um, You'll get uh, a copy of all invoices automatically go into this section here. You can save any email correspondence that you have in here. And it's very simple. We have a two-click process where you can take anything and just pull it right into here. Here's the area for your medical history. You can add a master problem. And your master problems are pretty populated with thousands of different options for you. Same goes with allergies. You can add an allergy. You can see any prescriptions. You can add a prescription or see any prescriptions that you uh, have prescribed in the past. If you click on prescription label, you can print this right out, fill in the instructions and the expiration date. Here's where you'll see any vaccinations and the due dates on the vaccinations. And you can print a vaccination certificate from here. And here's a list of previous services that you may have provided. To get an idea of our SOAP form, what you do is you add a SOAP form, and your logo will pre-populate, your practice information will pre-populate, your client information will pre-populate, and the pet information will pre-populate. What you do is you'll add the current weight, choose the presenting complaint, type in the history, and then exam findings. Put in the pet's temperature, pulse, respiration, the body condition score is on a scale of 1 to 9, and then you go through with your examination. In the event you find something abnormal, click on abnormal and type in what you find. At the end of the exam, you'll choose your diagnostics. 
And then here you can type in your assessment and your treatment and recommendations. On the bottom, we'll choose yourself as a doctor. You sign off, you click save. Another great feature when you use this on a tablet, you can use the talk to text feature where when you click inside this box, you can dictate and it'll copy down all of the words that you're using to save yourself time. Click on save and you have a SOAP form here that's easily printable and can be emailed out to your client. This section here is for client communication. So everything will pre-populate and you will add the topic of communication. In this case, we'll say lab results, the mode of the telephone, and you'll type here communication to make a note to yourself for next time. Again, choosing the doctor, signing off, and clicking save. The reports are all the same for ultrasound, radiology, surgery. Uh, you can print out health certificates or estimates, and you can do a euthanasia release form here as well. Here's your schedule. From this section, you can view it as a day, a week, or a month. You can take a look at the agenda view. If you hover over, you'll see the reason for the visits. You can choose by specific doctors. You can view an appointment list. These are our appointments for today. And here's where you would create an appointment. From here, you start to type in the client name, choose the patient, choose the time, select the length of the appointment, which doctor, and then you can get started on the invoice by typing in the service item. And just type in the reason for the visit. Once you hover over it, you'll see the reason for the visit, visit is a new patient visit. Here's your inventory and procedures tab. We've pre-populated this area with thousands of service items, inventory items, uh, and vaccinations. From here, you can track uh, you can add reminders. You can track all the inventory you may have in your practice. And to show you we've made it very simple, you can add a new category name or you can add an inventory item. Just choose your category. An item number is issued. And you just type in the item name, the description, and the unit name. You put in the minimum quantity that you want to have in-house and the maximum quantity, and then you type in your current quantity. As each item is added to an invoice, it's taken out of this section here. You can put in your price and what your unit cost is, and then make a note if you have any on order or on back order. You can add sales tax right here, and you can choose the reminder type. Maybe we want to make this a vaccine that happens every six months. This will automatically go into a report for you. Here's your transaction section. Choose a new transaction. Your logo will pre-populate and your practice information will pre-populate. You select the doctor and you select the client. Choose the patient and then start filling in the service items. Your account manager will help you to show you how to add prices to all of your inventory procedures and vaccinations. So once you do so, just typing in a little bit of the item's name, it'll pre-populate and the price will be added. For prescriptions, prescription labels can be added right here. For vaccinations, this will automatically schedule a reminder for you and generate a vaccination certificate. There's also a miscellaneous area where if you wanted to add anything, 
you can do so just by typing in. So if we wanted to give $10 off as a new patient discount, and here's the total right here, $67. You can choose the payment amount. And from here, you'll be able to see the outstanding balance. In this case, with our demo account, Little Orphan Annie owed us $25. So the money that we applied was going to be applied to the oldest invoice first. So you're always in track of, your, of the money. From here, you can click and save an email, and it'll send an email invoice to the client automatically. Then we can close this transaction out. Here's our report section. You can pull referral reports, taxes, any kind of deleted transactions, income analysis. All of our reports download into Microsoft Excel, which is universal with all types of programs. So everything can be uploaded into a QuickBooks or into Constant Contact. Again, if you have any questions, you can always ask your account manager and they'll be happy to walk you through it. Here's your basic settings area, and here's where you can add members. So if you have other doctors in your practice, the DVMs can be the holder of appointments and invoices, or you can have staff members that you can uh, have schedule appointments and add clients and patients, but they won't have access to any of your financials. That's a quick overview of VetOfficeSuite.com. Wanted to give you an idea of our platform and how easy it is to use. As you can see, it's very user-friendly. We'd be happy to schedule a demo with you. Please reach out to us at sales at VetOfficeSuite.com, uh, or just go to our website. And you can fill out a form and ask for somebody to reach out to you. Uh, one of our account managers will be happy to do it. Again, Eddie Whalen from VetOfficeSuite.com. Thank you very much for your time.